Good evening, students, parents, staff, and invited guests. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to this evening's virtual award ceremony. Each year, Wooten recognizes our students for their tireless pursuit of academic, community, and athletic excellence, and we are excited to celebrate our students again this year. It goes without saying that this year has been challenging to navigate for our students. What makes this award ceremony so special is that in spite of all the obstacles, our students have shown tenacity, resilience, and passion. For this evening's program, you will hear from our department leaders, staff members, and supporters and friends of Wooten, who will introduce each award, and we will then see the recipients of each award. We invite you to sit back and enjoy hearing about all of our awesome students and their accomplishments. We encourage you to applaud them in your home and share in a hug or a high five to celebrate their accomplishments. Congratulations, students. We are sending you our applause and virtual hugs to each and every one of you. It is my pleasure to introduce our first presenter, Miss Kathy Lavender. Miss Lavender has been an incredible friend and partner to Wooten High School. She and her family have established the Do Dr. Michael Doran Memorial Scholarship named after our beloved principal, Dr. Doran. Each year, Miss Lavender presents scholarships to Wooten seniors. I thank her and the Doran family for their continued partnership and generosity in providing the scholarship in the memory of Dr. Doran. Hello, Wooten seniors. I'm Emma Doran. I'm Samuel Doran. Thank you all for your submissions for the 2021 Dr. Doran Scholarship. We're deeply grateful for the time and effort you put into your submissions. We enjoyed reading your essays and we were impressed with your range and scope of your extracurricular activities. In fact, you made it very difficult for us to narrow the field to just five Dr. Doran Scholars, but we did. So, here are the 2021 Dr. Doran Scholars. Natalie Eisen, Harshit Archie Garg, Miller Rahm, Alejandra Valdivia, Salma Yunus. Congratulations to all of you. You are all so deserving. Each of you will receive a $5,000 check and your selection will be proudly displayed on the Dr. Doran Scholarship website. You are joining a select group of former Wooten students who have already accomplished so much and have so much promise. And for all Wooten seniors, you have our best wishes and our congratulations as you graduate. One rising senior is selected for Wooten's Hall of Fame Award. Students who are nominated for this honor show distinct qualities in leadership, academic achievement, community involvement, and overall well-roundedness. Students nominated for this award show an inherent desire to help the Wooten community. Good evening. As the junior class administrator, it is my pleasure this year to present the Hall of Fame Award. Every year, one of the rising seniors is selected for this award. Nominated students have shown distinct qualities of leadership, academic achievement, and overall are well-rounded in student involvement here at Wooten. The students nominated have not only shown distinct intellectual capabilities, but an inherent desire to help the Wooten community. Below is the list of finalists this year who have been chosen by the school staff for this year's Hall of Fame Award. The nominees are Roshina Room, Ryan Binder, Samantha Bolts, Shelby Cantor, Meyer Chawler, Joshua Friedman, Shana Gittleson, Jasmine Gong, Kelly G, Anna Keenley, Kirthy Padmanabon, and Dylan Sop. Congratulations to our finalists. Thank you again, finalists, for showing your leadership, academic achievement, and community involvement.
This year, the Hall of Fame award goes to Jasmine Gong. Congratulations, Jasmine. Jasmine not only excels in the classroom academically with a perfect 4.0 and working on completing her ninth AP class, but she is a member of the marching band and has had several roles in her three years and currently is the drum major. She has been involved in several clubs and been a part of the school study circles program to look at race and equity issues here at Wooten. She has also been the only female on the wrestling team and earned one of Maryland's first state girls wrestling titles. Jasmine is thankful for her amazing teachers and her opportunities here at Wooten. She looks forward to the continuation of her legacy of inclusivity. Congratulations again to Jasmine Gong. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce the recipients of this year's Posse Award. The Posse Foundation identifies, recruits, and trains individuals with extraordinary leadership potential. Each Posse Scholar receives a full tuition leadership scholarship from Posse's partner colleges and universities. We are thrilled to announce that Wooten has two Posse Scholars this year. Our two Posse recipients will be attending Bucknell University and University of Wisconsin. Congratulations. Hello, uh, my name is Al Leitze. I am the athletics specialist at Thomas S. Wooten High School. Um, in the athletics department, we give out two awards each year, the Distinguished Athlete Award and the Distinguished Athlete Award for a senior. And uh, this year, both awards will be going to seniors. Um, the first award, the Distinguished Athlete Award, goes to a young lady whose accomplishments in the classroom and on the tennis courts at Wooten High School are both extremely impressive. In the classroom, she maintains a 3.98 grade point average, weighted 4.56. She belongs to the National Honor Society as well as the English National Honor Society. She's also been a scholar athlete from 2017 to the present and has been active in SGA from 2018 to the present. On the court, she won the regional championship in 2017, the Montgomery championship in 2018, and is a two-time state champion in girls tennis. It's a privilege to announce that our Distinguished Athlete Award for the 2020-2021 school year goes to Ellie Esterowitz. Congratulations, Ellie. <music> Distinguished Athlete Award for our, uh, our senior student. This year, instead of just one senior winning this award, we are giving the award to two seniors who have been stellar in the classroom and on the mat as wrestlers. They each have a 3.95 GPA, weighted 4.71, and have been all academic first team members for the state of Maryland for each of the last four years. On the mat, they have each won a region, county, and state title, and both of them have won over 115 varsity matches to their credit. It is an honor for me to tell you that the Distinguished Athlete Award this year for seniors goes to Eric and Jason Liao. Congratulations to you both. Wooten's recipients of this year's Hispanic Distinguished Scholars and Montgomery County Alliance of Black Educators represent academic and community excellence. I am thrilled to present these scholars with this year's award. Congratulations. Race, ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, politics, these are topics that often divide us. It's easier simply not to talk about them, but as educators we know that the foundation of a civilized society is communication. 
The ways we choose to engage in conversation, especially around difficult topics, is crucial to building understanding of divergent perspectives and to promoting a school culture that's equitable and inclusive. For the past six years at Wooten, we've aimed to bring educators and students together into dialogue around race and equity. The result has been over 100 staff members and 200 students taking part in study circles, facilitated dialogues that build trust, create empathy, and deepen understanding of different perspectives. This would not have been possible without the passion, dedication, and maturity of our student facilitators. These students have devoted countless hours to train, prepare, and facilitate student staff study circles. They've developed leadership skills that demonstrate their ability to help others feel comfortable having uncomfortable conversations. And this year, when study circles went virtual, they did it in the most challenging of times, showing flexibility and resilience by facilitating in a virtual setting. Through their efforts, they have made a lasting contribution toward building an inclusive community, equipping staff members, and empowering students to create an environment that is safe, welcoming, and equitable for all. This year's Equity Warrior Award goes to seniors Anya Bijlani, Lisa Broido, and Josh Mariani. Congratulations, Anya, Lisa, and Josh. The next set of awards go to students who have pursued athletic excellence, excellence in journalism, and a scholarship for a student who will pursue the field of engineering in college. The U.S. Figure Skating Graduating Senior Award recognizes the hard work of student athletes who have participated in figure skating throughout high school. Awards are given at the platinum, gold, silver, and bronze level based on the skater's level of competition. Congratulations to this year's recipient. The Ben Cardin Honorary Mentions for C-SPAN Documentary is awarded to two Wooten students who received an honorable mention and a $250 prize for their documentary, Education Policy, A New Era. These two students produced a short documentary exploring an issue that they wanted the President and new Congress to address in 2021. Congratulations. The Steve Curtis 1989 Memorial Scholarship is being offered to honor the memory of Steve Curtis, a proud 1989 graduate of Wooten High School. Steve went on to study electrical engineering at the University of Michigan and obtained a master's degree in electrical engineering from Cornell University. He was a principal design engineer for Intel Corporation for many years. Steve loved the Wooten community and cherished his friends and the strong academic foundation that Wooten provided him. This year's recipient will pursue STEM next year. Congratulations! Finally, the last set of awards and honors include students who have achieved at the very top level of service and academic achievement. It is my great pleasure to introduce the recipients for Student Service Learning, Presidential Scholars, Governor's Merit Scholastic Award, and National Merit Finalists. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing this year's SSL recipient. This year's recipient earned the most student service learning hours at Wooten. Congratulations for your spirit of volunteerism and service to our community. Each year, students are selected as candidates for the United States Presidential Scholars Program. Scholars are chosen for leadership and service to school community. They demonstrate exceptional scholarship, visual, creative and performing arts talent, and accomplishments in career and technical fields. Congratulations to the class of 2021 candidates.
the Governor's Merit Scholastic Award is awarded each year to the top 5% of the graduating class. The criteria for the award is based on the highest cumulative GPA. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an annual academic competition for recognition and college undergraduate scholarships. There were 16,000 semifinalists who were the highest scoring program participants in each state and from there there were 15,000 finalists. Wooten had 20 National Merit finalists and three students who earned scholarships in the amount of $2,500. Please join me in congratulating the following National Merit finalists and scholarship recipients. My name is Kearney Blandemer and I, along with J.D. Marchand and Eric Graves, coordinate the Aspire program here at Wooten. Aspire is a comprehensive program that makes the transition from middle school to high school easier. It includes a student-centered course, Connections, which focuses on high school readiness and success, including lessons in self-advocacy, time management, and organizational skills. Aspire also pairs students with teachers in the building who mentor them through the rigors of high school. This year's winners are two Aspire students who have shown particularly impressive growth over their short time here at Wooten. They are standouts in the program and have truly become models of achievement, self-advocacy, and personal responsibility. It's my great honor and pleasure to announce this year's winners, Taj Smith and Mac Healy. Congratulations, guys. You make us proud. Hello, my name is Anne-Marie Stepling. I'm one of the co-sponsors of the Patriot Ambassador Club. Hi, my name is Meredith Lang, and I'm one of the other co-sponsors of the Patriot Ambassadors Club. The Patriot Ambassadors are students that support our administration, staff, and community at various school events throughout the year, including orientation, school plays, graduation, and more. Each year, the Patriot Ambassador Eagle Award is given to two Patriot Ambassadors who have demonstrated a commitment to the organization and the Wooten community. This year, the Eagle Award recipients have been nominated by their peers and chosen by their leadership board. Each of these ambassadors embodies our standards of excellence, character, scholarship, leadership, friendship, service, citizenship, communication, and enthusiasm. In addition to demonstrating these standards of excellence, these students encourage their peers to excel both in and out of the classroom. This year, we are excited to give the Patriot Ambassador Eagle Award to Quinn Luganbeal and Ethan Fain. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Michelle Hansen and I'm the Humanities and Arts Signature Program Coordinator. I'm pleased to tell you that we have two awards to give this year. The first award 
is for students who show themselves to be activists in some aspect of humanities and arts. And this, is, this award is called the Jamie Hogan Memorial Award. The second award that we give is for our top students who really show themselves to be outstanding in some field in the humanities and arts. And this is our Student of the Year Award. Thank you. Hello Wooten Patriots, my name is Stephanie Laby and I'm head of the Arts Department here at Wooten High School. Congratulations to the students who are receiving awards in the Performing Arts, Visual Arts, and Theater.
Hi everyone, I am Mr. Lowe and I'm here on behalf of Wooten's English Department to announce the awards for excellence in English class in our publications. The awards include excellence in newspaper, excellence in yearbook, excellence in the literary magazine, and finally excellence in English studies. Good luck to all the nominees and thanks for your dedication to the humanities. Hello everyone, my name is Keith Burnham and I am the math resource teacher. I am honored to recognize two special groups of math students. Those students who were the top performers in multivariable calculus, AP BC calculus, AP AB calculus, and AP statistics. And those students who participated and earned the certificate of distinction in the American Invitational Math Exam competition. Congratulations to all who excelled in our math program. Thank you. Hello, and congratulations to all of the 2021 award recipients. I am Michael Thompson, head of the Wooten Science Department, and it is an honor to introduce this year's Science Department Awards. It has been said in many ways that this year was a challenge, but great outcomes have always been able to emerge from challenging situations. I really want to thank our science teachers who have worked so hard in the last year to deliver learning in a new way. And I want to thank families for being the teachers at home when our students needed that support. But most of all, I want to thank all of this year's award winners for their perseverance and resilience. Like I said, great things can come from challenging situations and you are all proof of that. Thank you for your consistent excellence, no matter the situation. Here are your Science Department Award winners. The following awards are recognition for students in advanced placement courses in social studies. Students were selected by the instructors of these courses 
based upon the student's exemplary academics and interest in the field of study. These students demonstrated hard work, strong analytical skills, and excellent participatory abilities in the courses for which they are being recognized. Since 1998, the Marion Greenblatt Education Fund has been recognizing students who excel in social studies. Each of the public high schools in Montgomery County selects an award-winning student on the basis of his or her grades in social studies courses, demonstrated proficiency in research and or writing, and involvement in extracurricular activities and community service. Christina Sloan, resource teacher for special education at Wooten High School. I am happy to present the award for exceptional intern. The following students have demonstrated excellence in their support of students in our school community-based and autism classrooms over the course of this school year. Congratulations to all the recipients. Well, I'm Bethany Pettit, resource teacher for the Career and Technology Department. The awards for our department are for students who have taken multiple courses in a particular area of focus and excelled in those courses. Hello, I'm Mr. DeRosa, resource teacher for the World Languages Department. It is my pleasure and honor to tell you about our Excellence Awards. Each year, we recognize seniors who have pursued their chosen language through at least level four in Chinese, French, Latin, or Spanish, and have earned the letter grade of A each and every semester. In American Sign Language, where two levels are offered, a recipient will have completed level two, and also, as in the other languages, have earned nothing but A's each semester. And so, please join us as we celebrate the accomplishments of these stellar students.
thank you all for joining us for this year's awards ceremony. On behalf of Wooten's administration and leadership team, we celebrate you. We celebrate our students' individual and collective efforts at excellence. Thank you for sharing your talents with the Wooten community, and thank you for being lifelong learners whose academic and extracurricular pursuits are worthy of celebrating and applauding for a job well done. Have a great evening.